I don't know about all of you, but I am sick and tired of this season. No, I'm not talking about the fall. Love the fall. One of my favorite times of year, as well as Halloween. What I am talking about is election year. And we are, what, two weeks away today from election day across the United States. Every two years, we go to the polls and we vote for more people who are going to screw us over. They lie to us in campaign ads, make false promises, mudsling, spend millions and millions of dollars. They get elected, and of course, most of the time, nine times out of ten, they turn out to be a complete douche. Just being honest. Now, the big question is, has campaign spending in these races gone too far? Prime example, charlotteobserver.com. Tillis Hagen showdown could be the nation's most expensive Senate race ever. Guess the price tag for this North Carolina Senate race. A hundred million, that's right, million, not thousand, million dollars between these two candidates. Democrat U.S. Senator Kay Hagan and, of course, the Republican challenger Thorne Tillis. That is insane. A hundred million dollars for a campaign? It's ridiculous. It's like every election cycle, it goes up and up and up. The war chest for both candidates for all these races mostly federal, you know, president, senate, congressional, costing more and more money every year. And it's always between the two parties, the Republicans and Democrats, for the most part, more the same BS. Which one will screw us over this time around? Will it be the Democrats or will it be the Republicans? Who gets to be the white hat? And who gets to play the part of the bad guy, the black hat? And... Next election cycle, they get to switch hats and start the whole thing over again. Meanwhile, we continue to squabble left and right. This whole BS, I'm just sick and tired of it. For one thing, I think that we need a cap. A cap on how much a campaign can spend on an election cycle, whether it comes to advertising, radio, TV, internet, newspaper, telemarketing. And you know something? It's high time telemarketing campaigning went the way of the dodo. The past couple days, I have gotten more phone calls, which I don't answer, by the way, than I have all freaking year. And most of them are political. I'm sorry. I'm not going to answer the phone if you're going to call me about politics. Whether it's this campaign or that campaign, local, state, federal, or if you just want to give me a stinking yard sign, okay? No, I'm not interested. I'm sick and tired of politics. It's just more of the same crap over and over again. And unfortunately, the real candidates, the real choices, almost always get screwed over. They never even have a chance. And I've kind of just thrown my hands in the air over the whole to-do. Now, how can we resolve that issue? How can we give more people the opportunity to campaign and possibly win? Well, even the playing field. And what better way to do so than to make it to where, okay, for senatorial campaigns, the max that each campa campaign can raise is, say, $5 million, or $2 million for congressional, or 50 or 100 I don't know how much for... You get the idea of what I'm talking about here. I think there needs to be a cap. Now, there is a cap when it comes to donations. For example, for federal campaigns, I can only donate, what, I think $2,100 to, say, a presidential candidate or a senatorial candidate or a congressional candidate, which so far I have donated $0 to. I think I'd rather keep the money. But the point is, I think when it comes to elections... That would go a long ways towards cutting down the crap, the campaign ads that flood the market. Because the only ones that really win when it comes to campaign advertising is, of course, TV and radio and newspaper. The media, whether it's local or corporate media, which is usually one and the same because the corporate entities own almost all the media outlets, be it NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, or your local newspaper, TV, or radio station, most of which are owned by a handful of big multi-billion dollar corporations that just care about one thing, 
dollar signs. So I think eventually we have to get to a point where we are seriously limiting how much money your campaign can raise. Okay, you can raise up to $5 million or $10 million for a senatorial campaign or $5 million for a congressional campaign. And that way, it allows other candidates that might not be a Republican or a Democrat, third party or independent, to be able to play in the same ballpark. Because right now it's unfair. It's big leagues versus minor leagues. And the minor league teams are never going to have a chance if they don't have the same budget or the, the same ability to get the same budget as the big boys and the big girls. So am I a little cynical when it comes to the election season after so many years of trying to make a difference, of being passionate about the issues? Yeah, I'm just a little cynical, just a little arced, a little sick and tired of it because all the time, and I don't say almost all the time, usually it is all the time, the good candidates never stand a chance because it's always about the dollar signs. It's always about how much money candidate A and B can raise and all the other candidates be damned because they're not part of the two-party puppet show. So as long as there's not a cap when it comes to how much money a campaign can raise for campaign season, for elections, and as long as third-party and independent candidates are excluded from debates, don't expect the 114th Congress when it gets sworn in January 2015 to be any better than the 113th, 12th, 11th. But hey, on election day, after we all go to the polls and vote, we can pat ourselves on the back with the delusion that we actually made a difference and that our votes actually really count. Yeah, right.